So I had a friend ask me the other day about negativity and how to stay positive with, through like all the negative headlines and all the negativity through social media and how like scary the TikTok and Instagram makes the world out to be. And I wasn't really too sure how to respond on it, but as I reflected on it quite a bit, I realized I had quite a bit to say, actually. I used to be one of those people who was glued to news content creators, you know the ones. The ones that keeps you updated on celebrity trends, internet trends, buying and nans, seeing where celebrities go wrong, but it wasn't all like good, you know? It felt more like a relentless baggage of negativity when you hear bad news after bad news over and over again with with every now and then something being uplifting. It got to a point where I had to put my foot down and say enough. I mean, don't get me wrong, staying informed is very important and I think we need to stay informed to not make bad decisions, but when you see all these bad things that's happening over and over again, it's really, it leaves you just drained and overall disheartened. So I, I had to make the conscious decision to distance myself from sources that were bringing me down and seek out content that uplifted me instead. And I'm not suggesting I've completely disconnected myself from reality, I've just shifted my focus. I've discovered a more wholesome positive side to YouTube, such as like a creator for example, Was Creation. His, with his random pranks and heart roaming surprises, it's always like a breath of fresh air, but in a world of like negativity when all you see is these bad things whenever you scroll, you know? And you know what? It, it's really made a difference in my life by replacing content that was dragging me down with content that lifts me up. I've noticed a significant improvement in my mood and overall well-being. But here's the thing, I, I do understand that drama sells, negativity sells, there's like a reason why we're so drawn to these actors who do bad things, we're so drawn to these bad things that's going on in the world even though we can't do anything about it. It's addictive and um, it, for me, it, I reached a point where it was just too much and I knew I had to make a change. So I took the bold step to put like a time limit on my phone so like I can't use Instagram for like more than X amount of time because like Instagram, even like TikTok, like I completely deleted TikTok off my phone because like it was, it was my main source of like information but it was also just like this vortex of like mindless scrolling and comparison I found myself in. I also just found myself wasting like hours on end sending videos back and forth with my friends only to realize how like trivial and how much time I wasted on it. Making fun of other people, making fun of things that like I seen my friends seen. Only to take, take a step back and just have to like reflect my own life being like... I'm, I'm making fun of these people while like sitting at home watching my phone for like three hours a day. It's crazy and it's really time consuming. And like deleting TikTok wasn't like easy for me. And I, I'd, I'd admit like there was moments of like withdrawal and like, but it, in the end it was liberating. Uh, it freed up so much mental space for things that truly matter, like pursuing my passions, such as like learning new skills and connecting with people on a deeper level. So if you find yourself like overwhelmed by constant stream of negativity in your life, I, I like just take a step back and reevaluate what you're consuming, whether it's the news, whether it's social media or any other social platform, and ask yourself if it's truly serving you and how is it serving you. And if it's not, well, you have the power to change that. 
whether it's unfollowing accounts that don't align with your values, limiting your screen time, or simply taking a break from it all. And remember, like, your mental health is worth it. So to cultivate more positivity, becoming more positive is definitely a journey, no doubt, but one that's well worth embarking on nonetheless. And I guess that's all I had to say for answering my friend. So um, I guess overall, thank you guys for listening. And until next time, take care. Peace.